Hi, I uh, just thought I'd do another video seeing as uh, I wanted to celebrate the 300 subscribers mark and I am uh, very late in doing so, I'm at 320 odd now. Uh, so sorry uh, for waiting for the extra subscribers. Uh, basically one thing I used to get asked about a lot on the old forums was uh, to explain the different kinds of picking motion that different players use and that you can try out and see how they how they work and the difficulty always was explaining things that are very simple <laughs> to show in video uh, in purely text form so now I've got a, a nice video camera I may as well do a good detailed vid on the different kinds of picking different players use so uh, without further ado uh, let's get to it so this is my right hand. Now, uh, one thing before we begin discussing picking at all, it would be good to say that if you're not a very analytical kind of person, you should probably leave this video now. Uh, we're going to get fairly in depth. So, the hand has various planes of motion. So, the first one would be called translation. Uh, tra translation. So, you'd have this kind of thing. Your arm isn't moving and you're waving from the wrist. Next thing would be rotatory, so that's where your hand moves like so. Next thing would be oscillatory, which would be like this. <laughs> I'm terribly camp all of a sudden. Um, you could also move from the elbow. Um, that's, that's really about it. So. Oh, well, when you come to guitar as well, some players use circle picking, which is using the muscles of the thumb and index finger. So, uh, now for close-ups of those as they would apply to guitar. Okay, so this is exaggerated translation. So, the whole wrist moves like so. There's no rotation, no oscillatory. So, translation. <laughs> There you go. Rotation is like so, and I don't really tend to use very much of that, but I'll give you a go. More like an Aldi, Aldi Mayola kind of thing. Uh, oscillation would be this kind of thing where the hand is kind of moving in and out of the strings. And um, to be honest, to get to get any mileage out of that, you really need to combine it with a small degree of one of the other motions. If you do absolutely pure oscillatory, uh, you just go kind of in and out of the strings. But you can use the oscillatory muscles to do the majority of the leg work as you let the uh, other muscles uh, bring it to the string correctly. Um, circle picking would be like. Okay, so what I'd do now is I'd uh, try and figure out what kind of picking style you mostly use. Everybody uses combinations of those motions. Nobody uses absolutely pure translation. Uh, for a player example, I'd look at Paul Gilbert. Paul Gilbert probably uses the closest to pure translation. Uh, still, I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely not pure. <laughs> no ways about that. Uh, as for uh, pure rotation, Aldi Mayola. Uh, pure circle picking, um, I've forgotten his name now, I'll see if I can get you a link anyway. Um, pure oscillation, actually uh, surprisingly would be Michelangelo Barrio, Ingve Malmsten uses a lot as well. Um, a lot of players use a little bit of oscillation here and there. Uh, Eric Johnson actually very prominently talks about this bounce thing, the bounce method if you get a total electric guitar and that is basically oscillation and um, he really likes the tone of it. All the picking styles produce slightly different tones and it's good to uh, experiment around with them. You may get one sign that you can only get really with one uh, kind of style of picking. Okay so having had a quick look at the styles and hopefully having paused the video and experimented with yourself uh, you'll see that there are some strengths and weaknesses to each picking style. So for example, translation gives you a very strong and even tone, but it has a very small range of movement. If you're using 
pure inverted commas translation, you only have maybe two inches of movement. Similarly, uh, rotation, you can get quite a lot of power in, but uh, a lot of that range of motion is actually useless for a single string stuff. It's great for strumming, but uh, you'll get a very uneven tone if you use absolutely pure rotation. Uh, oscillation, really, most people tend to use it unconsciously after a certain point anyway. But uh, <laughs> the main weakness with that would be it has a slight tendency to become inefficient as you bounce too far out of the strings if you're unused to using a little bit of that. So uh, there's, a, there's a very easy solution to curing almost all the weaknesses there, and that is effective use of your elbow muscles. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Okay, so say hypothetically we like translation. I quite like translation. So if you're playing on the high E string with pure translation, you can't actually reach <laughs> anything above the A string. I mean, I've got quite big hands, and reaching the A string is a struggle. But if you just let your elbow slowly move your hand around, then it's no problem at all to reach the whole selection of strings at a fairly neutral angle. And being a neutral angle is very important because it lets your tendons stay loose and your muscles relaxed and so on. Similarly, rotation, same story exactly, you know. If I use pure rotation, I can't really use rotation. <laughs> uh, basically, we end up kind of out of the strings if we rotate too far either way. But again, you just move the elbow and keep the wrist in a neutral position. Uh, it should be said that strumming, when you're strumming what's happening is using a rotation and a little bit of elbow and apart from that your wrist's hanging loose. If you want a little bit of extra snap you kind of oscillate out so. But uh, most people tend to do that unconsciously, just never be strumming with a, a tight, tight tense wrist. Uh, tightness, tension, always bad. Circle picking, to be completely honest, I don't really know that much about. I don't really think it can ever be as fluent as picking with the wrist muscle because to my mind the finger muscles are already taken up with holding the pick in the first place and they're not generally very strong and indeed a lot of people think they're doing uh, circle picking but what they're actually doing is, I'll, I'll demonstrate with anchoring, say I'm oscillating, if I put my fingers down I'll oscillate, it looks like only my thumb and fingers are moving but in actuality what's happening is my whole hand structure is moving and the fingers are compensating. So in the air it looks like that. You can see it's a whole hand against the guitar when the fingers aren't moving. It only yeah, it looks like finger and thumb. That's exactly what Michelangelo Batio does. So I have waited for years to be able to explain that through video without having to uh, write a wall of text. Okay. Um, apart from that, I suppose the same, the same art same argument would apply to uh, pure elbow picking. I think the muscles in the elbow are too large to really accommodate um, proper single string picking mm -hmm. and that they're more suited to changing the position of the arm. Similarly, although when you were sweep picking, for example, the elbow should as always follow the wrist and the strength in this case is coming from the elbow. But uh, I think that's, that's just logical. If you use small muscles for small jobs, big muscles for big jobs, uh, everything should be fine. Um, okay, well, last but not least, I suppose, and I want to ask you all to look at your right hand technique and make sure you're always relaxed, you're always accurate, and you create a good, clear, consistent tone. There's nothing worse than wimpy, unsynchronized picking. And it just, just sounds terrible, don't do it. Uh, try and get strong, consistent tone. If you can add in proper accents, that's great. You know, it just, it just sounds better. Do it. <laughs> um, apart from that, really there's a lot of bull going around, basically, um, about how this style is better, that style is better. And really, if you look at any truly great picker, they all use variations of the styles and combinations of the styles and you can really, to be honest, um, choose based on, based on preference for sound <laughs> because as musicians we should be trying to strive for the best sound. So uh,
Take care, everyone. Science best to you.